All right, welcome to the playlist on year nine mathematics. So in this video, what I'm going to tell you is some of the content that is going to be covered in this particular series. So this is basically going to be based on the year nine mathematics for the Australian New South Wales curriculum. So most of the topics that will be covered are compliant with the curriculum as it is now in 2017. There are some changes that are going to be made from next year. So once the new topics are actually introduced into the curriculum, I'm going to make some extra videos just to complement that. But basically, this should cover all the stuff that is actually taught um, this year and in the previous years as well. So there are essentially three modules to this particular uh, course. The first one is composed of numbers and algebra. So basically that focuses around some techniques that involve arithmetic and some algebraic techniques that are quite useful for solving equations, for basically solving a lot of different problems that are applicable not just to mathematics but also to other branches like science and finance. The second module is going to be based on measurement and geometry. So this one is quite important because geometry is a very big component of the year 10 curriculum. So if you go into year 10 mathematics, geometry is also going to be there quite a lot. And this also extends all the way to year 11 and 12. So it is quite important to get comfortable with geometry from this point onwards because it is going to be a very crucial part of all the other mathematics subjects that you do in the future. And the last one is going to be statistics and probability. So statistics and probability are centered around the idea that if you're given a bunch of points or a bunch of data values, uh, say you, that you're doing something like an experiment in science and then you're collecting data from the experiment and then you want to plot that on a graph to see whether there is a relationship between the different things that you're measuring then statistics and probability are going to be very useful for you in order to analyze what is happening and to derive a more, um, basically a deeper understanding of how things are changing when you change a certain variable or when you introduce new things into the experiment and all those things. So this is, statistics is quite a big topic as well. So basically all of these things are setting the foundation that you're going to be using in the later subjects. Now I want to point out that in this series I'm going to be covering all the content from stages 5.1, 0.2 and 0.3. Now for those of you who are not familiar with the Australian New South Wales cur curriculum, basically when you're in year 9 and year 10, this is what they call stage 5 mathematics. So what it means is that the, there are subdivisions of the course and basically it, it varies from difficulty. So 5.1 would be the lowest difficulty setting and then 5.3 is what we call the advanced course. Now the main difference is that 5.3 tends to do uh, problems that are slightly more difficult than the other two and it tends to cover a few extra topics. So basically I'm going to give all the content that is relevant to those three and depending on which course you're doing, you may not actually need to learn the, the content from each of them. I will let you know which content is relevant to which in the individual videos as we go along. Now, in order to make things a little bit easier for you when finding these videos, I have devised a little code that is going to help you find out whether the video you're watching corresponds to the sequence um, that you were watching before. So basically the code is composed of these four terms. So the first term is going to be a Y followed by a number. This is basically going to specify the year that it is relevant to. So for example, if I make a playlist for year 10 mathematics, this would be Y10. And then for year 11, it would be Y11 and so on. And the second term is going to be an M followed by a number. So this corresponds to the module that the, the, this particular video falls within. So there are three modules in this course. So M1 corresponds to numbers and algebra, M2 geometry, and M3 would be statistics and probability. The third term is going to be a single number. And basically what it denotes is the topic. So there's a sequence of topics within each of the modules and basically this is going to tell you which topic it is. So everything will be done in a sequence so you won't have much trouble finding the videos 
in the correct order. And finally, the, the final digit here, the final number, is going to tell you which video it is. So, for example, the way you would read this code here is this would be the second video of the third topic of Module 1 in Year 9 Mathematics. So this hopefully will help you find those videos, but you should see them that I'm going to upload them in the right sequence, so one after the other, so you don't have too much trouble with that. Now, with respect to individual topics, these are the things that we're going to be covering. There are in total 10 topics for the whole course, so six of them fall within Module 1, which is Numbers and Algebra. So the first one is going to be Computation and Finance. So this is essentially a topic that focuses around some practical applications of arithmetic and things that you can do with numbers like fractions and uh, some simple multiplication and division, how to find rates, how to find taxes, and all of those things, which are going to be quite useful for you, not just in school, but also in real life as you become an adult and you have to deal with those things. The second topic is going to be on equations and inequalities. So this one is quite important because this is the key to, pro to solving problems in a lot of different fields, not just maths, but also science, um, finance, computer science, and so on. So equations and inequalities is going to be based around those things. Linear relationships is going to be based on straight lines. So here we're going to learn how to graph straight lines on a piece of paper and how to properly identify relationships between two sets of variables. So this is going to be very important for statistics and also for anything that is related to analysis of data or experiments. The fourth topic is going to be indices and search. So this falls into the category of algebraic techniques. So basically this is going to give you a lot more knowledge when it comes to dealing with algebraic expressions how to solve for a particular uh, parameter or solve for a specific variable and so on. So it's going to be a, a, um, a very important um, topic. Then for the next one, we have quadratic expressions. So this is something that is going to be extending what you learn in linear relationships, but to relationships in which you have something squared. So for example, in a linear relationship, you might have an equation that is set up like this. All right, so the reason it is linear is basically we have um, this x is just an unknown and it is to the power of one. So basically it is just as it is. And this is what we call a linear relationship. A quadratic expression might be something like this. So you could have something like x to the power of two followed by something like two equals to 3, for example. And then, basically, we're going to learn some skills on how to solve for x in this particular case. You could also have expressions that are a little bit more complicated, so you could have not just x squared, but also 5x here. And then that would actually make things a little bit more complicated for um, when it comes to solving this problem. But we'll also learn how to solve things like this. And finally, we're going to deal with quadratic equations and parabolas. So this is just an extension of quadratic uh, expressions, but it is basically going to teach us how to graph equations like this into the two-dimensional plane. And then parabolas are basically shapes that look like this. So you might have seen them in things like satellite dishes. You know that basically they pick up a signal. Uh, they're also used in bridges so if you have two towers and then you have a bridge here and basically you're holding that deck of a bridge by using some cables hanging in there this shape is also a parabola so that's also going to come in quite handy when it comes to dealing with practical applications of geometry and also of nonlinear expressions now for module two we're going to have three topics so the first one is going to be on right angle triangles. So what that means is that you're going to have a triangle in which one of the angles inside is going to be 90 degrees. So this is what we normally call a right angle. So what this means is that these two lines here are perpendicular to each other 
and there are some very nice properties that result from this kind of triangle so there are a lot of different properties and in fact there's a whole area of mathematics dedicated to the analysis of this type of triangle and it is called trigonometry and it is a crucial part not just of mathematics but also used quite a lot in the design of buildings structures um, airplanes and all kinds of things related to science and engineering and so on now the second part is going to be related to length areas and volumes so basically we're going to be dealing with things like how to find the area of a circle how to find the area of a composite shape like a square plus half of a circle or a semicircle and how to find volumes so basically shapes like this you may have a pyramid and then you want to find the volume of that and this is going to come in quite handy because when you're designing things like structures and so on you need to know what the dimensions are in order to know how how much material you need to actually build that kind of structure with that shape and then part three is going to be geometrical shapes. so this is going to be more of the same but it's going to extend things a little bit further and we're going to learn some of the properties of shapes like regular polygons so for example uh, something like a hexagon and then what are the relationships between the angles how can you relate that to the angles outside and things like what if you draw a line that goes from here to there can you find the area of this and all those kinds of things the final module is going to be module 3 and this one only has one topic which is going to be probability and data analysis on a single variable that might sound a little bit complicated but basically what it means is that we're going to learn some probability which is um, going to tell you how to calculate the chance of doing something so for example if you throw a die um, what are the chances that you will get a six or if you're buying a lottery ticket for example and you want to find out what is the probability that I might actually win the lottery well then we'll also use concepts from here to actually calculate that and decide whether it's actually a good investment or not and single variable data analysis means that we're going to have a, just one variable involved and we're going to analyze that with relation to other things and we're going to apply some of the knowledge that we acquire from linear relationships and on some of the other topics in numbers and algebra to basically do that so hopefully this gives you a good overview of all the things that we're going to be covering in this course this is going to be a very extensive playlist compared to all the other ones that I have done so far so hopefully uh, you'll find it quite useful and it will prepare you for year 10 mathematics